Spreadsheets are excellent for keeping track of finances, orders, inventory, and much more. If you own a Mac, you can utilize the spreadsheet software that comes included with Mac OS. Here's how to get started with Apple Numbers. With Numbers, you can get right into the work by selecting a pre-built template or start from scratch. Open Numbers. Select New Document from the first dialog box that appears. You'll then see a range of templates for you to choose, so you can get a head start on your project. The templates are organized on the left to make it easier to discover the one you need. You can also select blank to start from scratch. When the document opens, give it a name and choose where you want to save it. This allows you to store your progress in numbers on a regular basis. Choose either the title bar at the top of the numbers window or go to file, then save. Enter a name. Select a location and optionally include tags. Select Save. Each workbook begins with a single sheet labeled Sheet 1 on the left side of the top tab row. If you choose, you can add additional sheets for different aspects of your project, as well as rename, duplicate, reorganize, and color the background. Add a sheet. Select the plus sign on the left side of the tab row or go to Insert and select Sheet in the menu bar. Rename a sheet, either double-click the sheet name or select the arrow to the right of it and pick Rename. Then enter the new name and press Enter. Duplicate a sheet. Select the arrow to the right of the sheet name and pick Duplicate. Rearrange Sheets, drag a Sheet tab to the right or left, and drop it in its new location. Color a Sheet Background. Select the arrow to the right of the sheet name and pick Show Sheet Options. When the Format sidebar opens on the right, use the Palette drop-down box next to Background to choose a color. A spreadsheet is only as good as the information you enter into it. Text, numbers, dates, currencies, percentages, and other data can be entered. Select the cell where you want to add data and then simply type in it and press return. You'll see the data appear in the cell as well as in the bar at the bottom of the window. Depending on the type of data you enter, you may need to format it. For example, you might want the number you enter to be a percentage. Select the cell containing the data and use the Format button on the top right to open the sidebar. Then, head to the Cell tab. At the top of the Cell tab, you'll see the Data Format section. Use the drop-down box to choose the type of data you want. Depending on the format you select, you may see additional options below the drop-down box. For instance, if you pick Date and Time, you can choose the formats for each. To format the cell itself, use the remaining options in the Cell tab of the sidebar. You can choose a fill style, add a border, or set up conditional highlighting. To change the font style, size, color, alignment, and similar options, go to the Text tab in the Format sidebar. Numbers features allow you to generate complex formulas in addition to basic calculations. Select the cells where you want to enter the formula. Either pick Insert in the toolbar or Insert, then Formula from the menu bar, and select New Formula. When you find the one you want to use, click it. And there you have it. Inserting an item is another numbers feature you might wish to test. This allows you to add items to your sheet, such as tables, charts, shapes, text boxes, lines, photographs, movies, and audio files. Use the corresponding buttons in the toolbar, or go to Insert in the menu bar to add these types of items. 
Once you add an item to your sheet, select the Format button to adjust its settings. Depending on the kind of object you add, you can do things like change a chart style, a shape's color, or an image's size. If you insert an item and want to remove it later, select it and either press Delete or use Edit, and click Delete in the menu bar. Numbers is a handy, built-in Mac app that can help you with everything from company financials to household budgets to inventory tracking. Whether you're a beginner or a pro, Numbers offers endless possibilities for organizing your data. Thanks for tuning in to AimApple. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more Apple tips, tricks, and updates. Happy spreadsheeting, everyone.